So I think the biggest challenges with long term TKI use relate to the side effects that patients experience with these drugs. So it's not just the kind of headline side effects such as cardiovascular events, which are more common with nilotinib and panatinib, but can occur on any of the second or third generation TKIs. It's also the low grade side effects such as muscle aches and pains, fluid retention, fatigue, which can affect all patients. And while they don't they're not life-threatening, they do have a significant effect on quality of life. One of the ways of trying to reduce these is to actually reduce the dose of the TKI in those patients that are responding and studies such as the DESTINY clinical trial and the BEYOND study where doses of TKIs were reduced. Um, we see much superior quality of life and reduction in side effects in these patients which also probably increases treatment compliance and hence improves depth of remission as well.